Hi, Frank! Frank DeCaro! You wonder if you're cuckoo. What the hell are you doing with that mullet? Oh my! Yeah, I'm deranged. This is my friend Frank DeCaro. He's the author of the Dead Celebrity Cookbook. He is adorable. He's got a show on OutQ Radio on Sirius XM. These are the most famous dead celebrity recipe ever. Okay. And they're they're about as good as brownies can get. Cheers. Oh, fuck oh. Fat gay people eating today on OWN. Okay. Do we love Lucy, I right? I okay. love Lucy. She loves me. We're, We're as happy as two can be. There we go. Friday was the opening day of the blockbuster film Gladiator. For Frank DeCaro, it was the highlight of his life thus far. <laughs> Let's go out of the movies with Frank DeCaro. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your rears. <laughs> With my toga in a bunch and my popcorn uneaten, I wholeheartedly bring you the first big movie of the summer, Gladiator, or what I call a hunky thing happened on the way to the forum. That daring young tramp on the flying trapeze is Nicole Kidman. She's a singing, dancing prostitute who wants to be taken seriously as an actress. Oops, I'm sorry. She plays a singing, dancing prostitute who wants to be taken seriously as an actress. What do you think, Steve? Do supporting actors get overlooked? Shut up. When you get your own special, you talk. Welcome to the Gulf Haven Mayoral Pizza Toss! Candidates! Candidates! Hi, everybody. I'm Andy Torres, and I'm running for mayor. Shut up! Baldy, toss the dough! You look like Little Red Riding Hottie. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. I love you, Frank. Were you fully clothed? Are they adult oriented? Uh, was it a golf ball? No. Tennis ball? No. Bocce ball? No. <laughs> Meatball? <laughs> no. Do you press flowers with your butt cheeks? No. I don't know if I want to play anymore. <laughs> Are these fake nipples? <laughs> Nipple enhancers. Look how well they blend in with Frank's head. Please say hello to George Blair. I have to recuse myself. I slept with him. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't remember it. <laughs> I get that all the time. <laughs> I took what was my childhood bedroom and turned it into what we call the bat room. Come in and see my Batman collection. I have a decorator friend who said to me that if you don't display it beautifully, it's just a lot of junk. It's visual Prozac. You walk in there, how can you not love it? It's toys everywhere you look. I just, I pull them out of little kid's hands at the, at the toy store. <laughs> I mean, kid, give me, I need that more than you. Flaming Screams. With Frank DeCaro. James Franco hasn't been blown that hard since milk. When the weather clears in Oz, the great and powerful, everything is in color, and Franco is in the magical land of CGI. I was hoping he'd end up in this Oz. And then he sleezes on down the yellow brick road with a hairy little guy he doesn't know very well. Well, we've all been there. Oh. I know some of you don't know me and you're thinking, my God, Moby got fat. <laughs> oh. When I came out, it was, oh, it was such a mess. Oh, you don't want to come out to a five foot tall bundle of Aquanet mother who's Italian. You really, oh, little pear shaped thing with an Aquanet can and a tail comb, you know, it could jab your eyes out. And, but I, you know, I did, and, and my mother said, now I'll have to put my face in shit. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I'm gay, so you have to do German porn? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs>